Hi guys and welcome to another video series of introduction to Java Sublet. In this session, you will learn how to create and run your first sublet project. So to create your first sublet project, you need at least two application software. First is IDE where you can write or edit your sublet Java programs. Second one is a application server. In this video, I am using Eclipse IDE to write or edit your sublet Java programs. And second one is Apache Tomcat application server. Because sublet programs runs on server side, so we need at least one application server. So I am using here Apache Tomcat. So before creating your first sublet project, you need to install these two application software in your computer machine. And if you have not done this, you can watch my previous videos for how to download and install Eclipse IDE and how to configure Apache Tomcat server in Eclipse IDE. Or you can follow the following link that is the link which is defined inside your video description for installing and downloading Apache Tomcat and Eclipse ID. So now the time to create and run your first servlet project. So let us move to Eclipse ID and create your first program. So here, this is your Eclipse ID. So to create your first servlet project, you will go to file, go to new and you will go to dynamic web project. Sometimes dynamic web project is missing from Eclipse ID. So I have created one separate video for this topic, how to fix dynamic web project if it is missing in this list. So you will click on dynamic web project and it is asking any project name. So here you can write any project name. I am using skill plus plus. So skill plus plus is your project name and you can use any project name. Next is target runtime. So here it is showing Apache Tomcat. So because I have already configured Apache Tomcat in Eclipse IDE. So that is the reason it is showing here. And if you have not configured, so you need to configure it first. Okay, so now you will click on next. Then next and here, this is your project name. And you need to tick this one, generate web.xml deployment descriptor. So web.xml file contains some information of your servlet file. So you need to check this part. The, now you will click on finish. So it will take five to 10 seconds to create your first servlet project. So here you can see on project explorer, your project name, skill plus plus is created. You will expand it. Now, the time to create your first servlet program. So to create your first servlet program, you will go to this folder Java resource. And when you expand it, it has SRC and libraries. So you can see it has two libraries that is Apache Tomcat and this is your JDK. So I am using JDK 12 and Apache Tomcat 9.0. So before creating your first servlet pro program, you need to create a package. So I am creating a package here. You will right click on Java resource, go to new, and this is a package. You can use any package name. I am using skill plus plus. So this is your package name. Packages are the container for classes. So your class will be stored inside this package. And this is optional part. You can create and you can ignore this step. Now to create your servlet program, you will right click on this package, skill plus plus, go to new, and here you will click on servlet. So here there is a small window will open and here you can write any servlet name. So I am using here first servlet. This is your 
servlet class name and this is what super class so this servlet class has a super class that is http servlet it means we are creating a http servlet that will handle http get and post request you will go to next next here you can see this is url mapping for servlet this mapping will be display displayed in the url when you will run your servlet program go to next and here in this window you can see it has some options that is constructor from super class if you would like to use constructor you can check it otherwise you can uncheck so i am unchecking it next inherited abstract method so it is or you can see it is showing some abstract method of http so here we are using do post and do get method so you will click on finish so you can see your first servlet program is created its name is first servlet it has a super class that is http servlet it means we are creating a servlet class that will extends http servlet class and it has automatically overridden both methods of http that is do get and do post method so i will not go in the depth of this coding so first i will show you how to display simple string welcome to servlet so what will you do you will just remove it and you will write response dot get writer dot you will call print function here and you will just write what whatever you would like to print so i am writing here welcome to servlet so this is the message which will display on the browser so you will save this file so just you need to write it now the time to run this program right click on it go to run as run on server go to next select your project and click on finish so it will take 5 to 10 seconds to deploy your first servlet project and it will show the output welcome to servlet and you can see this is your url that is first servlet this is your project name and this is your first sublet name so this is a message welcome to sublet so this is a program or this is the first sublet program in eclipse id which will display a message welcome to display so i hope you enjoyed this session and you understand how to create first project and how to run your first sublet file okay so you can do practice now now this is all about for this session in the next session you will learn more about your servlets and servlet programs so thank you bye bye we'll see you in the next interesting video bye bye